Hey YouTube, it's Alex. So we finally got back from the pharmacy and sorry my house is super messy in the background. Um, we just got back from the pharmacy and it took forever. I even waited in my car on purpose just because I knew it would take a long time. And then even when I get in the store, I even go browsing for the longest time ever because I knew that they would still say, oh, it'll be a while. But by the time I went there, they said, oh, it'll be an hour. I'm like, ah. So we had to wait and wait and wait and wait and wait. But the kids did really good, I'm surprised. They drove me crazy, but they they acted pretty obedient and they listened a lot and were quiet. Just Kara wanted me to hold her and she didn't want to sit in the cart anymore and so my arms felt like they were dying. So what happened in our appointment, he asked me so many questions and he's like, wow, I don't know what's going on with her. I'm like, me neither. How weird is it she's throwing up? But she, other than that, she is acting completely fine. She's dropping Legos over and over in the kitchen. Uh, so he thinks it's a reflex problem. So right now she's on medication for that. And then he told me, oh, this is what you're going to do since she's two and she's going to have a hard time swallowing pills. So just take half the capsule and put it in water, um, let it mix it around, and then take a syringe and give it to her. Well, <laughs> the pharmacy the pharmacist even said the same thing. And then when I got here and I did half of it, it's all tiny, tiny, tiny baby balls and the thing. And then I tried to do half as best as I could and they weren't dissolving. So I finally called the pharmacy and they're like, oh, you're going to have to get this kind. And I'm like, my doctor mentioned that, but he said it's like way more expensive. And she kind of snapped at me like, well, whatever. And while she was trying to figure it out and stuff on the phone, I read on the tiny pharmacy directions paper saying that you can sprinkle it on applesauce so I wish I knew that because I only had like the tiniest amount of applesauce left in my refrigerator so right now I'm I'm making baked apples and I usually make baked apples every fall time and um, so I plan on there's four of them so I plan on baking them for a really long time and then mashing them up as best as I can and then putting the remainder of it in the refrigerator because sorry Kara's being super loud she has a, her pumpkin pail and she's putting Legos in it so it's rattling um so she has to take half of the capsule daily so I have to try to make sure I do it half each time and I'll mix it up with the baked apples that I'm making right now so that should last a while. I'm glad I had those apples because I'm tired of going to the store. I feel like I've gone to the store so many freaking times and I don't want to just go again for applesauce. And I'll drive Paul crazy if I call him like, can you get applesauce? So I'm just going to do big apples. And that way it smells really nice in my house.